Hello and welcome back to Try Hard Tuesdays. I'm your lean and supreme host, Troubadour, and I got a fun team for y'all today. For those that don't know, Try Hard Tuesdays is a series where I try to win with some of the most disgusting, some of the grimiest builds known to mankind here in the Super Auto Pets arena, and just generally have a fun time at the expense of our opponents. It's a great, great, great series. You guys will love it. Uh, today we are taking on the custom packs, trying to use a custom pack that might be one of the strongest teams you can run at the moment, honestly. So this was inspired by a Super Auto Gaming video that came out not too long ago. Uh, you may have seen it, this one here. Uh, the whole idea is you basically run a buy sell team with two sea anemones, which are basically the old starfish, but on new pet. Uh, so for buy sell teams. And then you run it with a seagull with a golden egg. The golden egg gives extra sale value to all the friends, all the pets you buy that turn. So you can buy a sell pet, sell it for a bunch of stats and gain gold a few times a turn. And the stats just kind of snowball out of control. Now on the video, I commented that, you know, I was worried. I was like, oh no, I'm going to run into a bunch of these, you know, a bunch of people who are copying this team and like lose to it a bunch in the custom arena, you know? And guess what? I was right. That is exactly what happened. But then after a few days, I realized, you know what? I got Try Hard Tuesdays coming up, and what's better than this team, right? I mean, you got the crazy stats. It's beating everybody. It's beating me over and over, and I was like, well, if it can't beat them, might as well join them, but only on Tuesdays. I have morals. So the team we are running today, like I said, we're going to be going for a big buy sell with a seagull going egg. I'm also going to try and like compato every one of the pets, just see if I can get something fun. I put a bunch of strong tier sixes in the back. This pack's actually adapted from the one that Super Auto Gaming used in his video that he himself got from Billy Billy Mix uh, 111, something like that. I can't remember the name, uh, but some the person who won the Sap Dojo master of the dojo competition in custom packs. So, you know, it's a pretty strong custom pack if you can win like against some competitive players with it. That's how you know it can be a good team. It's not just like the arena plebs like me who will lose to it, you know? So we are here on turn six. We've gotten the one of the sea anemones. We're also gonna do another level with the hatching chick. See if we can get another one or a seagull. We do get a seagull, also wyvern. That's one of the things I threw in the pack that uh, Sag didn't have originally in his pack. Um, as a uh, wyvern, I loved running wyvern because after I lost a couple, I was like, wait, why don't just run wyvern? Wyvern basically gives you better odds to find the sea anemones and the seagulls that you want early and just start the high roll even sooner. So that's what I did here. But we are going to finally get to pivot. We get the second uh, sea anemone and we also can start doing the buy sell now. Now we can't do all the crazy stuff with the anemones because we don't have the golden egg on the seagull this turn. But that's okay. We have a few cell pets in the shop. We'll get a little bit of stats out of it. But next turn, once we get the seagull and the gold egg to give us some extra money, we are going to start popping off and getting stats like crazy. So here we go. Strap in, everybody. Uh, so early on, uh, we are going to get a bunch of stats. You can see there we have 13 gold. Uh, that's pretty nice to start with. I think that's part of that was because we had the chipmunk, you know, uh, to sell the beginning of the game, uh, beginning of the battle. But still, like, we're able to find more seagulls so we can refresh our triggers on the uh, seagull there, get more golden eggs out of it. Uh, we can level up the seagull here to get even more triggers. And there's another cell pet with the zebra. So now we have even more gold and we just keep snowballing like crazy. I mean, we got a lot of stats this turn. I wasn't really counting, but like almost our entire team is now like a 10-10 kind of thing. And we got a level two seagull out of it and a sea enemy that's almost level two as well. Like that's a lot of stuff you can do a turn. Even if you're not like buy selling constantly, like you can spend that money, like leveling up the pets so fast. It's kind of insane. Uh, we find another seagull in the shop. I decided to freeze it so that I can refresh the triggers of the seagull. Yeah, for those that don't know, I've talked about this before, but if you buy, if you have an old pet that's out of triggers, merge it onto a new pet just like this. And since the new pet hadn't used its triggers yet, that means you get the uh, use all the triggers again, which is great. We also level up early, two turns early into a dragon. I mean, come on, we got double sea anemone and a dragon. I mean, the buy sale is gonna go crazy now. Uh, we're getting even more stats than before. But here we face an opponent trying to run like a Chimera Jersey Devil thing, but they have no mana. Not really sure what the idea was there. Maybe they find something cool in the later turns. I don't know. But now with the Dragon, we're going to get even more stats a turn. 
and with all these tier one cell pets in the pack because uh, the pack actually the entire tier one is all cell pets because you can do that now with some of the new uh now there's some more cell pets especially from like unicorn pack or some of the changes from uh star pack there's enough cell pets to fill the entirety of tier one i can't remember if that was a thing you could do before you probably could but you know i'd rather run something with better stats like a cuddle toad than something like a hatching uh hatching not hatching chick a duckling uh so there's that but look at our stats now. Our seagull, in the blink of an eye, we are 32-29 with the golden egg. Look at that pop in the pepper. We're beating this rhino team. We are cruising right now. We're on two hearts, but honestly, like, I'm not worried at all. Our stats are crazy. Our One of our sea anemones is already halfway to 50-50 as well. We got our chocolate in the shop so we can try and level the dragon too. And you know what? Let's just keep by selling. Look at all the stats going crazy. And we get and plus a lot of the cell pets, like that beaver there, are able to give stats as well. So our stats are going to pop off even more. And we level up the sea, uh, seagull again, so we get even more golden egg triggers. So even though we're about to run out of gold, now we're still going. <laughs> so we find a dragon there. Now I could have, you know, kept doing a little bit of buy sell there just because I love the dragon by the side. You know what, let's go ahead and try and get the dragon leveled up and the sea anemone as well, just to get the last bit of stats that much quicker. We face a person running really interesting team. I don't really know what they're going for there. Not much scaling, but they had like a melon boar thing going on. I don't know. I've got almost a 50-50 sea, uh, seagull at this point, so I don't even care. So yeah, all of our team kind of at around the 25 to 35 range. We're going to pop off even more with all the cell pets here. I mean, what do I say at this point? Just look at this engine here. We're getting plus 2-2 two, two every time we buy a tier 1. And then we're getting plus 4, or what was it? Plus 8-8, eight, eight, I guess, for the dragon, for the whole team. And then we sell the tier 1 and we get plus 4-4. Four, four. And then the seagull means that we get even higher stats across the whole team. And now look at that. Our seagull is 50-49. It's hitting 50-50 next turn. It's starting like, what, 33-35? Something like that. Something crazy. You know, we face some running melon with the big jellyfish. A little bit scary there, but we're able to clean him up. So let's go. That's pretty good. But next, we're going to finally be getting our first 50-50. So we're going to start be looking to pivot off of this team. Also, we have our uh, sea anemone also basically at 50-50. Yeah, with this cell here, we've got two 50-50s. So I think it's time to start transitioning. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to compato every single pet to see if I get something fun. Uh, I compato the sea anemone into a cow, which is cool and all. I guess you can like waffle a level two cow to get, you know, better milks. But my stats are so high that, you know, the milk really isn't worth it. I'd rather just, you know, buy some more uh, tier ones. And I think we're going to get our dragon. Look at that. Dragon and anemone are both almost 50-50 as well. So at this point, I just need more Compedos water use and start going crazy. We face a sniper squad uh, running a bunch of custom exclusive uh, and, or a bunch of uh, free to play pets, both with turtle pack and custom exclusive pets like the Lynx. So they stand no chance against me. I mean, this build is so scummy. What can I say? Uh, we'll do a few more cells just to get the last bit of stats we need, as well as give us a little bit more gold. You know, we get an extra three gold this turn because of the, of the cells from the golden egg. Uh, we got a Water of Youth, the dragon here. And just look at the stats. Look at what we started at. Turn 9, they're all like 10, 10, 7, 9. And then suddenly here, turn 14, it's been like, what, 5, 6 turns? And we have four 50-50s. That's crazy. But now we're looking for more Compados. We Compado the Cow to get another Tier 6, but it's a dragon. So that's not very helpful. It's, we just got rid of our dragon. But I found a Water of Youth to turn into another pet now. And now we face another team. I mean, are these are these teams like paid actors at this point? Like, I know like I did crazy high rolling, but some of these teams, I'm like, how'd you get to turn 14? How am I matchmaking with you? Like I've seen way tougher teams in custom arena. But we water of youth, the uh, gorilla there to turn it into, or water the dragon into a gorilla. And we're looking for another uh, transforming equipment. We find a compedo for our, um, what's it called? For the sea anemone. We'll get a couple more triggers from the golden eggs. We'll compare the sea anemone into a goat, which is interesting. And finally, we'll water of youth, our level 3 50 50 seagull into a deer. So here we are, final turn. Four 50 50s, three with in battle abilities, two of them being tier 6. We face a Jerboa plus jumping team, poison dart frog. That's kind of an interesting pet to see in customs. Maybe they're going for their team in, but they stand no chance against our full 50 50 squad, and we're going to take the win. Let's go. That's going to be another episode of Try Hard Tuesdays. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, shout out to Super Auto Gaming for the inspiration. I'll put a link to the video that inspired it in the description below. But yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do a lot of generic stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, as always, stay true.